Hi, my name is Faraz and today I'm going to make uh, the step 3 of uh, this uh, series of tutorials and uh, today I'm going to start from the hexa adaptive component that I made last uh, step and I'm going to turn it into a parametric adaptive component that can actually be open and saved depend on uh, parametric points and then I'm going to apply that to the uh, uh, conceptual design tower that I done. Uh, first I'm gonna change this into a wireframe and then I'm gonna create uh, points here. I'm gonna choose those points to be falling on the main level and then it's a good idea to zoom in as much as you can. I'll create six point exactly in the same place where those adaptive points created don't forget to turn on here the level one otherwise it's not gonna fall on the main grid now after you finish just select everything and then from the filter turn off the adaptive point which is the original ones everything here also turn it off except the reference point now you can go to the property panel and here in the offset just remove or actually first just let's test that let's add like uh, 300 mil and hit apply and you can see that the point you've just created is just bounced from the it's actually still attached to the to the level one, but it's an offset to 300 mil away from it. So I'm gonna deselect, select the first point, and again back to the offset. I'm gonna create a parameter, and I'm gonna call it H1. And this H1, I'm gonna flex it to 500 and see if it's gonna work or no. So with this parameters, I'm gonna control the height of those points and leave that for the user to be changed by creating these parameters again here i'll create a parameter and call it h2 and then here i'll create h3 finally here I'm gonna create H4 and let's flex so I'll go here and make H2 like uh, uh, 1000 maybe hit apply and see uh, those actually jumped uh, 2500 for example for H3 and let's say okay and you can see that the third set of points are actually really getting higher and the last thing which is this let's say just up 4000 and you can see that they are actually working perfectly now you can just select those points the first and the second and then here to click here to create a line between them again select this command and we can repeat this to make the entire shape Um, just clicking outside as you notice after I make the line just to be select so now technically I have that new shape I'll just select all of them and in the property I'll make sure that they are reference plane so uh, hit apply so actually you can use the surface or you can depend on them as a creation surface so for example if I want to create a point here see it's it's very hard so it's a good idea to use this 
if it's a normal line it is uh, very hard to pick a point on that surface actually it's going to follow on non-associated or it's going to follow the lower level so here i can just pick first and then see now i can move maybe to the midpoint and i can create a, a specific point here so i'm going to set and I actually set the reference plane to this point specifically and I might need this again to draw on a working plane so again set here so see I'm working on a vertical plane to this line so now again I can select all of them and then create solid here and I can uh, actually I can just select that later on and change the height or the easier part is to create a form again but not to use it as a 3d because actually you just need a just like a, a very thin surface which is here based on the big scale that you're gonna design for it so now see that's your surface or that's your shell here Let's go shade it so we can see it. Okay. Now we have one transparent glazing panel here for the glass, and here that has a shading device for it to cover it. Again, I'm gonna turn off that to wireframe. Select this and then select that. And then create a solid here. And now as you can see. We have the entire structure that holds that surface, the shading device, and it's actually a parametric one. So I can come here later on and change maybe this 1000 to 1300 and hit apply. And you can see that this is actually is moving slightly up and down based on the parameter that I provided. In order to show more detail, I can just leave that for you, but it's just. Uh, just to make a simple one of them as an example for you so i'm gonna connect those two as you can see i'm gonna uh, make a point here again i cannot take this so i can just select this line and change it into a reference line and now as you can see it have reference plane but again it's an extra step so i'm just gonna undo if you know if you remember those adaptive point actually is still exist which have a previously made uh, reference plane so I'm gonna activate this one and I'm gonna draw a circle here let's say uh, 80 or whatever size you want let's make it 50 the point is I'm just connecting the shading to the glazing so isn't actually floating so if I turn this again if you want you could just make a point that connect each one of them it's depend on how much detail you want to show but for me that is more than enough all right so I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna load that into the project which is I just rename it as a step 3 uh, so I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna change the current components into this the operable one that I just made and that might take a couple of minutes it depend on how fast your machine is and for me I know it's very slow so I'm just gonna pause And now we can see after the uh, after we change or replace uh, all the previous components, you can see that uh, it's actually more accurate and it's uh, connected to the to the device or to the to the screen. And this is a transparent, and the other one is actually a glazing part, and you can actually change 
later on the setting so let's test that you can just change this or actually you can sorry go here and select it and you need to go to the edit type and that's the that's the adaptive uh, that's sorry the parameter for it maybe we should made it uh, an instance instead of we made it as a type to make our life easier so I will just uh, probably this 4000 I'll just make it like 500 maybe I don't know let's hit apply and again that might need a time to be refresh or to process it so I think I'm gonna pause again and you can see now it's uh, it's like a more curvature or close so any change you do any change you do actually any dimension you can provide it can be added to this adaptive uh, component and it's fully parametric so you can add and change whatever you want for that and um, it is a kind of uh, a good method if you want to make a controlled shading device and you can see that uh, when you have a right output it might need some time even to regenerate it but anyway it depends on how fast the machine you are working with and I will try to model in the next step I'll try to show you how to make the uh, how to make the landscape and how when we export that to a project environments file how to make a full uh, landscape and how to make the retaining wall uh, for that uh, and also design some uh, building pod and um, adding car park for that so see you then